Bhagavad Gita, text 2.15 Indeed, one who tolerates these dualities of sense perception, such a wise person to whom happiness and unhappiness are thus the same, is eligible for eternal life of self-realization, O best among men. For the first time in this great treatise, Krishna mentions self-realization, which takes one beyond material happiness and distress. Material happiness invariably turns to unhappiness in its absence. Thus, one should tolerate both happiness and distress, knowing them ultimately to be one and the same. From a world of apparent variety, one must learn to identify with the underlying unity.